Hi everyone, it's Crafty Mom with three sets of twins. I'm going to be doing some DIY projects today, so I hope you'll sit back and enjoy my video. I would really appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button, the like button, the notification bell, and please share with your family and friends. So sit back, enjoy, grab a cup of coffee or some tea, and let's get crafting. Okay, I'm painting the bunny white with um, the white paint that I got at Hobby Lobby, which is chalk paint. And actually, it really works nice, but now they're not doing their 40% coupon, so it's not worthwhile. I made a little pom-pom out of white yarn, and that's going to be his bunny tail. I'm using some of the twine from Dollar Tree. Actually, all this comes from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to tie it around the little bunny's neck. Trying not to choke him because we want to keep him safe and happy and healthy. And I'm just twisting it towards the back because it is like a wired type twine. And I'm just using my little wire cutters to wire. I mean, to cut them, sorry. <laughs> to wire, yeah. I've got some beautiful purple flowers that I'm going to hot glue next to his little collar or necklace. And I'm just snipping off the ends and hot gluing to the bunny. And then I'm going to take the same twine and make a little hanger so it all looks very, like, put together and uniform. I had a cramp in my foot. And look how cute he is. Pretty little bunny. Love the way he turned out. He is so cute. Or she. It's a he or she. However, it's pretty. Next is some crosses that I got from Dollar Tree. Um, they have many different sizes and shapes and kinds. And I'm going to just use the wood because when I think of, you know, Jesus on the cross, I think of wood and branches that are all natural. So I'm just going to sort of dry brush the burnt umber onto the cross. And then I'm going to take some jute cord and I'm just going to wrap it around the cross. And I'm just wrapping it around the top, then I'll go around the sides, then I'll go around the bottom. You don't really have to cut it until you get to the end. So, and then you just sort of, you know, twist it around the sides. I sort of put some glue on the back so that it wouldn't, the very beginning wouldn't come undone. And just keep twisting it around till you get the bottom and then the sides. Just wanted something simple. And a great reminder that Easter is coming and it is about Jesus. Jesus. 
And I love how this cross turned out. So when I finished, I glued that end together too, so it wouldn't unravel. Got some more of the white twine. It's actually like a garland, I guess, a berry garland. And I'm making a little wreath. I got that uh, greenery. Where did I get that greenery? I believe I got that from Hobby Lobby. No, I got it from Walmarts. I got the greenery from Walmarts. I ended up ordering some more on Amazon. They had a better deal, so I really like the way you can make wreaths out of this little vine. And the leaves are very tiny, so it makes it really petite and pretty. So I was also excited to get it from Amazon. I'm going to start linking my some of my things down below. Um, this is all new to me, so <laughs> I'm getting there slow, like, slowly but surely. I got an Instagram account. I'm going to do a Facebook group, and I'm getting there. Six kids, it takes a lot, and it's only one parent so look how pretty that is it's just simple and pretty and i love the way it turned out and i'm probably going to get a, a lot of these crosses away to my friends so i'll be giving these away i love the way this one look it's just simplistic all right i had a lot of bunnies so i'm excited about doing more bunnies because they are fun to work with I'm probably going to do Easter maybe through this weekend, and then I'm going to go back to spring decor and farmhouse decor. But it's kind of fun because my kids are here to do the Easter stuff, and they get to see it. So probably one more weekend of Easter, and then I'll put everything away, and I'll give most of it away. I have a store, though, if anybody wants to buy any. It's the coffee store. And it's Crafty Mom with three sets of twins. So, and my prices are very, very reasonable. So, if you wanted to buy something, please head on over there. Or if you want to, you could buy me a cup of coffee. That would be nice too. I'm loving how this one's turning out, too. Look at this gorgeous scrapbook paper. It is perfect for Easter. It would look good as an egg, as a chick, as a bunny rabbit. I got it in one of those big value packs. I think I've talked about this before. It's a holiday, so it's got all the holidays in this big pack, which is pretty cool. So I made a little jute bow out of the ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree. It's got the wire in it, so it does stand up and look really nice. I'm going to use this box, which came from Christmas time. And I'm going to glue the jute cord all around this box and burn my fingers many times <laughs> because I always burn my fingers no matter what. I eventually put on the little, I guess, rubber finger protectors. I think my daughter tries to find them for me. I have gloves too, but they don't work well if you're working with something small. A wreath or something big, I think they work great. But for little small things that you're doing, you can't really get in there and press it down. Okay, I'm cutting the little bunny out. Again, because I'm going to put the bunny on both sides so that when I put him in my decor, you will be able to see that beautiful paper from the front and the back. So after you use that glue stick, which I love because I don't burn my fingers on that, 
It works perfect. I love it. I think it's better than Mod Podge unless you're just covering some letters that you don't want to come off. But this glue works fine. Okay, I'm just going to add some little flowers to my little bow. Okay, as you can see, I covered the box completely with the jute. I have put this scrapbook paper on the bunny, both front and back. I'm gluing him in there. I like this particular one because it's got that little piece in the back so he can sit up. He sits up on that. Now I'm using some moss from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to put that in the box. And I'm loving how this is turning out. It's farmhouse looking. It's cute. I actually have it in my foyer right now. I ended up using the pom-pom because it was going to fit better. The other one that I showed before a few seconds ago was from Dollar Tree, but it was just too big. So I made another pom-pom, which you just wrap it around your fingers as many times as you want. Tie it in the middle, and then you can just glue it on. Okay, I got some little carrots that I got off of the Dollar Tree garland. I just cut the garland. And I'm going to put some carrots in the little box with the Spanish moss. And then I've got some little eggs that I got at Hobby Lobby. And I absolutely love this little guy. Look how cute this is. It is so cute. Like I said, he's on my table in my foyer. I love the way he looks. It's one of my favorites. So if you have a favorite that I've done, go ahead and comment down below. And thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the notification bell. And share with your family and friends. And have a wonderful day.